how to fix invisible zip. You know, this is how the zip is. When you're fixing this zip on your garment, this is the front side. This is the side that will face the material like this. For instance, you want to zip. This is how you will see your invisible zip. So when you're sewing, you will sew this part. So for you to sew this zip properly, it has a, a guideline here. Let me show you. If you open this zip like this, there is a guideline. Just look closely. Open your zip and check. Invisible zip. You already made invisible zip. The small air though, not the big one for blouse, please. The invisible zip for already made English wears. In fact, English wears. So they already made for English wears. This is the guideline. You see a, a tiny line close to the teeth. Now, if you leave it like this, what we'll be showing you, what we'll be seeing here will be the teeth. And when to sew, sew your thread on this space here, this line, this tiny line inside. Don't sew this way. If you allow your thread to move towards this way, that means the invisible zip will be showing. And it's no longer invisible. So the reason why they call it invisible, that is not showing. So if you sew your thread on this line, this tiny line, you will see that your thread, your invisible zip will hide very well. If you allow your thread to climb on the teeth, the zip teeth, that means when to zip it, it will hook. You can't zip it and eventually your zip will spoil. If you're a beginner, I will show you how to line it on your fabric to sew it for the very first time. So for you to get it right, what you need to do, you have to iron this invisible. Because if you leave it like this, time to sew, it will give you problem. Except you'll be using your finger like this to scrub it, to scrub it, to make it flat so that your thread can pass on that guideline that you have to sew. If not, your thread will climb on the teeth. So for you to make it flat, you can iron your invisible zip like this. Don't allow the iron to burn the, just use the edge of the iron to push it out. You iron it like so. At the back side or on the teeth side, that is what I'm doing. You iron it like this. So it's becoming flat now. You open it, you iron it. So you ironed your zip like this. You can see that if you iron it, the, this thing is becoming flat now. So this ironing and this thing will help you. Make sure you push it flat. You see? For this one, it's a very it's a short skirt I'm using, but the zip is long, so I won't bother to iron till the ending part. Because I know I won't use all the zip. So you iron this side too, like this. Iron it flat. Make sure you use the edge of the iron to push it flat, like so. So let me go to machine now and show you how you can fix your invisible zip. So you hold your zip like this. Make sure you check the front side. Because of the iron, and see the way it's looking now. So you place it like this. You know the zip allowance is remaining one inch now after turning the distance, one inch. So, you follow that line. If you want this your plastic, that is the, the zip head, like a hook where the zip will stop when you zip it. If you want it to show, then you can just place it half inch. You can measure half inch from the distance because when you join the bind, half inch will go. So, in a way that after sewing the bind, this your plastic will still show. But me, I don't want it on this skirt. I want to push it off. I don't want it, so I will just keep my skirt like this. And I'm using a black zip and a black thread, so you need to look closely. So for beginners, you can first of all use your machine to catch your thread. This is the one inch line where the zip will stay. This is the one inch line. When placing it like this, you see that this is the space for your zip. You can catch it like this with your machine first. Just catch it straight. Make sure you check the one line. I can measure my own with my eyes. So 
you patch it like this. I will allow this zip to stay at uh, 8 inches. You can fix 7 inches. It's okay for zip, for skirt zip. So I will catch it like this. And stop at that 8. Then you bring this one like this to mark the same eight. You mark the same eight like so. You turn it this way. So the one inch too, you make sure you mark the one inch so that you will know where to place your zip first. So you zip it open. Sorry, the zip also you need to mark the 8 inches too by this side. See, where this one stop, mark it on the zip, the 8 inches like this with your chalk. So that when you open it like this, you will know this zip 8 inches, you place it at this fabric 8 inches and also on the 1 inch sewing allowance for the zip. So you place it like this, check it again, check if it's properly placed at that 8, 8, the 8 inches. Then you catch it with your machine like so, like this. You run it through. Now that I've finished running it like this with the machine, you can zip your skirt now, first of all, and check. Check this line if they are equal and this one is equal then you open it back again you can now go to the proper sewing for beginners if you do this this method i'm giving to you is going to guide you to fix invisible zip for the very first time so now you can follow that line that we iron now make sure you follow the line the iron is helping us to open the line very well so you just follow this no stress no stress you can fix your invisible zip perfectly So you stitch it. When you finish that side, you can check again if the line is okay or if the zip is hooking anywhere, just check. If it's okay, you're good to go. You continue the second line like this. Follow the guideline like so. Do the same thing this part now so you see you close yourself the skirt you can open it you can close it this is why we we'll call it invisible zip. It's not showing, but there is zip on it. It's not showing, there is zip on it. So you can now go to this part, push your zip like this. Now you have to close the skirt and the slit. So you can see this is my chalk where I marked the one inch. So I will take from that line now, very close to the zip line that I sewed. See, I will just take it close to that line where the zip sewing stop, you just come up a little bit like quarter, quarter of an inch. You know what we call quarter? If you've been following me on this channel, you know what we call quarter, like this space. Just come up a little like that. And you catch it like this. Then you take it through. Make sure you arrange it equal. Make sure it's equal. That slit so you spread you stitch it. No, this one is a straight slit, it's a straight slit. There will be no uh, double stitch, so just straight. Now I can cut this my zip like this, you can cut it. 
most time I like using the long zip to fix on the skirt so that I can take any length how I want my zip to be. So this, this is what we have here. So you can iron this space now like this. This is what I have at the back. So now is to close my skirt. 